Hello everybody, this is Streaming Gaming here to kickstart the second trial for my Champions Tournament. So yeah, trial one is finito, everyone has participated in trial one, now we're moving on to trial two, the gauntlet challenge as I like to call, the one versus three, where you have one dinosaur going up against three. Yeah, this trial will be interesting because I'm pretty confident in saying that nobody's going to pass this trial. <laughs> So yeah, just a quick overview of how this trial works. You'll get two points for every defeated dinosaur and you'll get three bonus points if you actually manage to defeat all three. Right, let's get started, shall we? And we will go in the same order we went in for trial one. So we'll be starting with dino fans. Okie dokie. Representing dino fans for this second trial, we have got a Shunasaurus. And he has selected team two. Got the shockwave there, which could definitely come in handy, given given the upper hand. And given that Dino Fans passed the first trial, all he needs to do is defeat this Pinotosaurus, and he will book his place in the last 16 round. Provided we don't have too many ties near the uh, bot. So yeah, nothing special for the move sets. Just a basic, you know, kind of like standard. Didn't want it to be too difficult. Mm, not a good start though. That's a diving press. Boosh. Now you may be wondering, hang on a minute, how is how is the Dino fans got free up? Yeah, it's a 3v3. I can't actually do a one versus three, so I do three versus three. I'm improvising here. But yeah, this trial will end once the Shunasaurus gets defeated. But shockwave there. Good response from Dino fans. And the shockwave rule applies, so Fancy Boy will be going for Skizzers. And get in the head! Ooh, is that crit gonna do it? Oosh. Oh, it's oh, it's not. The Pinocosaurus holds off. Interesting, Pinocosaurus, a dinosaur I don't think has featured at all in any of my videos till now. Right then, up next we got a Delta Dromias. So a little bit of a step up from the Pinocosaurus here. Gotta watch out for that bite in wind. <sighs> Can the Shunasaurus make it too? So yep, that defeat does mean that Dino Fans has met the minimum requirements to qualify for the last 16. Since they passed the first trial and they're on 7 points currently. I doubt the Dromias gets another hit. Well, it gets his first hit, really. Boosh! How long will the Shunasaurus last? Ooh, another light recovery. This is going very well for Dino fans. Can he defeat this Delta Dromias? And I should point out, if he does, does Pletosaurus is coming in next? And Shunasaurus will have type advantage. So things looking good for Dino fans. So here's the shockwave effect again. Boosh! Shockwave has definitely helped him out though. I will say that. Ooh, another hit from the Delta Dromius. Light recovery won't be able to save the day this time. Ooh, an Aqua Vortex though. Could that be what Dan Dino Fans needs? Oh, he gets a crap! That's another two points for Dino Fans. And now for the third and final Dino, the Spletosaurus. It does have a fire move, has blazing spin. Of course, the big threat will be the crept. But like I said, Dino fans will have type advantage here. Can 
he do it? Can he win 3-0? Wait, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. I said no one's going to pass this trap. The first dude is going to pass this. He's going to do this, isn't he? This is absurd! Well, all of a sudden, look at this! Well, Dino fans, you've just made a mockery of this second trial. I will say, I think the Shunosaurus probably would have died if it went for the shockwaves. So I will say that, but wow. Let's let's move on to the next combatant, shall we? Okie dokie, for Aster, representing them in this second trial, we have got a Torvosaurus. And yes, I've just about recovered after seeing Dino fans basically wipe the street with Team 2. <laughs> well, Aster have the same success. This Torvosaurus is a powerhouse. It doesn't have recovery moves, though. It is primarily an attacker, but it will have type advantage over this Lillian Stearns. So, could, good ta could be tactical here from Aster. Get, an early, get some early momentum with the Torv. Tactical. Good tactic. And they did fail the first trial, so they do need to get some points here. Although, they did get two points from the first trial, but yeah, they really need to get some points on the board. Of course, points don't matter if they fail the third trial. And that is just the start they would want. I, I'm honestly stunned after the first trial. I literally spent all the other videos talking about how nobody's going to pass trial two. The first guy that does it passes it, and oh my god, <laughs> that's a lot of damage. Crazy, and it? It's crazy. That's a tight. This is a strong start from Aster. Can they finish the job? Yep, easy peasy. That's two points on the board for Aster. Lillian Stern is going down quite comfortably. Emulate the lagging up. Right, coming in next, we got Nodosaurus. Yeah, you're going to be seeing a lot of Team 6 in this second trial because it, practically everyone picked it. Not very sporting. <laughs> I should have made it deliberately OP, but no. I wouldn't do that to you guys. I would. Oh my... No, 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 no. We're not having another 3-0 win. No, no. <laughs> I mean, yeah, granted the teams I have set up aren't the greatest. I mean, they're not supposed to be too strong. But come on. You guys are making a mockery of this. Ah, there we go. That's more like it. Nodosaurus getting a hit on the board. A stomping hammer. The Torvosaurus taking his first hit in this trial. Oh, here comes another stomping hammer. Team 6 stamping his authority in the, on this match here, despite losing the Lillian Sterners quite easily. But a crit, a firebomb, or a magma blaster might be, should be enough to kill the Nodosaurus. Can Aster secure it? Oh, I don't think they're going to. And unfortunately, two, they're only going to get two points from this trial. Well, despite a dominant start... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just ignore this bit. So yeah, despite the dominant start, it is two points for Aster, which means they're going to have to succeed in the third trial to have any chance of qualifying for the last 16. Okie dokie, represent an ultimate Dino King. For this second trial, we have got a Tarkia. Be an interesting one to see how this dude fares. <laughs> well, will they have the success that Dino fans had? Probably not. 
Right, taking on the top here, we got Gorgosaurus. Not much to say. Let, let the battle begin. Dun, 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 dun. Ultimate Dino King tasted success in their first trial, so all they'll need to do here is secure two points, and that will be enough for them to meet the requirements to qualify for the last 16. Ooh, defense boost. Defense boost will definitely help. Ooh, that's defense boost maxed up. That's a very good start for Ultimate. The Gorgosaurus one hit away from dying. Ultimate one hit away from meeting the minimum requirements to qualify for the last 16. Ooh, but the Gorgosaurus responds with his first attack of this fight. And it's a fire cannon. But with defense boost maxed up, Tarkia won't take too much damage. Oh, I think a bit, actually. Yeah, I think this dude is counter type. So yeah, that's, prob that's probably why. Well... Down goes Gorgosaurus. Pretty straightforward for Ultimate there. And now, they'll have type advantage over this Orhinoceratops. So can Ultimate go two out of two? Hmm. I have to watch out for that Death Grind. That Death Grind could cause a problem. Ooh, another hit from the Tarkia. Things looking good for Ultimate. An Earth Barrier will definitely help. Yeah, you could definitely see the tactic with this Tarkia. Make it as resilient as possible so that the bot the, the bot so that the bot team needs as many hits as possible to kill it. Because this Orhinoceratops will probably need three hits to kill Tarkia. But Tarkia only needs one hit to finish off the Orhinoceratops. Like, this Lightning Spear will eat up the Earth Barrier. Tarkia will take damage. But yeah, Lightning Spear here is going to eat up that Earth Barrier. Do minimal damage. Oh, hang on, this is Power Drain, isn't it? Oh, no, it's Skydive. <laughs> I forgot. Been a while since I uh, set these moves up. Boosh! Yeah, look at that. I, I would probably go as far as to say Tarkia can tank another hit. Unless it's a crit. Oh, there's a crit. Of course it's a crit. <laughs> I jinxed it. It's a death grind. Unfortunately for Ultimate, the Rhinoceratops still stands. Just couldn't get that finishing hit to go get the four points. But they'll get two points from this trial. And they will do enough to qualify for the last 16. But it will be uncomfortable because seven points is the minimum. And you'll probably be rooted near the bottom if you're, if you're on seven. Right, let's move on to our next combatant, shall we? Okie dokie, representing Dexin Winters. For this second trial, we have a Deinonychus. Dexin Winters must get at least two points from this trial, because the max maximum you get from the third trial is five points. And you need at least seven points to qualify. So Dexin Winters has to defeat this Lillian Sternus. Oh, uh, we'll skip this, since we're going to see a lot of this guy. <laughs> But they have picked a pretty strong Deinonychus, so I'm, I have I have faith that they can get this done. Well, not with a start like that. Oh, it's not a good start. Is it going to be disaster for Dexin? Ooh, okay, they got a hit on the board at least. They'll need to do a lot more than that, but this is not a good start. Okay, they're coming back into it. They need to kill this Lillian Sternus to give themselves any hope of qualifying for the last 16. And they do! Oof. 
Got a, bit, got a bit of a move there, I think, Dexin Winters, but a crossing attack's going to finish the job. Well, that's the hard bit, Sakiwa. They got the two points. Skip. <laughs> they got the two points on the board. So at least they're coming away with something. Anything at this point would probably be a bonus, because the Deinonychus is on low health. But... It is doing a lot better than it did at the start. I'll give it its credit. And a secret move, a hit here would be really good. And a hit is what they get. All of a sudden, things looking up for Dexin Winters. Oh, look at this. Can he, can he finish the Nodosaurus off? He can. And all of a sudden, can they do it? Right, our third dinosaur to, for them. Going up against the Deinonychus is Sirolophus. Not to be underestimated, this Sirolophus. A kamikaze tackle will do a lot of damage. In fact, I think any hit, unless it's an egg attack, will probably finish the Deinonychus off. But Deinonychus looking unstoppable at the minute. Wait, hang on a minute. They are looking unstoppable. Are we going to see another 3-0 win? I think we are, aren't we? Well, look at this. Can he do it? Can he do it? One hit. They done it! What is happening? This is what is happening in this trial. This is mental. Well, oh, they needed two points from this trial at least to stay alive, but instead they passed the trial with nine points. And we'll almost certainly be in the last 16. Let's get over our next. Let's move on to our next combatant, shall we? Right, this will be an interesting one because, as you can see here, representing Dino Smash, we have Paris Dino Tech. Now, the likelihood is is that we will see Dino Tech during this trial, whether it be from Dino Smash or from someone else. But I do think we're going to see some armor action. And yeah, no super moves. Very heal resilient based moveset here. Designed to tank more hits. So yeah, this very strategic moveset and choice here for di from Dino Smash. Very much built for longevity. Which is, which is key. Which is key to completing this trial successfully. As we saw in the foot, as we saw with uh, Dino fans. And well, Dex and Winters just got lucky and got hits. There was no strategy in that. That's a tie. Although, one issue with this is that when the uh, Dino Tector does get activated, all the moves will disappear, so they'll lose their recovery moves and such. So that's not good. And this is not a good start from Di for Dino Smash. A Metal Wing coming from the Mutnaburasaurus. Ooh, but a light recovery and a crit. Better response to that. Oh, look, oh, Metal Wing's gonna take our health back again. <laughs> this Mutnaburasaurus is proving to be an issue. Oh, no, that's a tie. Uh, this is not working out the way he planned it so far. Oh, is that a crit? The, oh, I forgot he's got Dino Suffer. Oof. That's a relief from Dino Smash there because that crit probably would have been lethal. Well, this plan's not going the way he planned it so far. The metal wing is causing problems. Cutting Paris down to size. This could be disaster for Dino Smash. 
Oh, he's dead! Oh dear. Well, unfortunately for Dino Smash, that's going to be no points from this trial. And that is devastating. Right then, representing MEGP10 for this second trial, we have got the Sorrow Faganax. I can see why they picked Team 6 for the second trial, because the Sorrow Faganax will have tight advantage over the Lillian Sternus. It's got some tie moves, got some crit block and some tie bomb action there, so yeah, could do well in this trial, MEGP10. Uh, we'll skip this because, yeah, <laughs> we're going to see a lot of this guy. Ooh, Lillian Stern is slow, getting the first hit on the board. It's a ninja attack. Type advantage will limit the damage, though. So it's not all doom and gloom for Amy JT10, but not a good start. Oh, that's a tie. Ooh, another ninja attack. Lillian Sternus laying down the marker here. Yeah. Oh, I forgot you got Jack Shuriken. Cutting the soul Faganax down to size there. Things not looking good for the Faganax. There's a tie. The Soul Faganax just can't get a hit. Come on, you could do better than this. Come on. I mean, it's not all doom and gloom for MEJP10 because they did pass the first trial. God, Faganax, do something. Oh my. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> wow. Unfortunately for MEJP10, it's a fail. No points. That's unfortunate, but the saving grace is they did pass the first trial, so they're not in as much trouble as Dino Smashes. Okie dokie. Representing Arctic Warriors for this second trial, we have Kakarodontosaurus. Arctic Warriors really got stomped in the first trial. Mainly due to type disadvantage, and the fact they have to face Matusaurus. But yeah, they'll be looking for a bit, bit of improvement. Standing in the Kark's way, we have Mataburasaurus, and I should point out, the Arctic Warrior does need to get at least two points from this trial. Otherwise, they will not be able to get enough points to qualify for the last 16. Even if they succeed the third trial. So, similar situation to Dexin, and we, well, we saw how Dexin responded, didn't we? <laughs> Well, we saw all the problems this Mutabarasaurus caused for Dino Smash. Ooh, but Arctic Warrior starting with a burning dash. It much more like it this time. Boosh. Oh, look at that damage. One hit will do it now. Can Arctic get that hit? Ooh, not yet. It's a metal wing. Arctic Warriors will have to wait. Magma Blast has been triggered. That will definitely come in handy should they get it off. Although they'll probably want to save it for the uh, second Dino if they can get past this Mutnaburasaurus. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Making sure they get the two points, I suppose. Mutnaburasaurus does go down and Arctic Warriors is off the mark. But the cart did take a beat in. Right. Right, up next we got a Rajasaurus. A dinosaur that many people call the worst fire dinosaur in the game. Got up against Kakirodontosaurus, quote unquote, one of the best fire dinosaurs. That's a tie. Can Arctic Warriors somehow kill this ranch? Ooh, a burning dash? Can Arctic Warriors do this? I mean, at this point, I don't think they're going to win three now. 
But I think they could have enough, just enough to kill this Rajasaurus. One hit will do it. One hit will do it. And there is that hit. And down goes Rajasaurus. Right. Up next, we got Stratosaurus. This Stratosaurus will prove to be a much more formidable foe here. And any one of those hits will end the Cachyrodontosaurus. But this has been a much better showing from Arctic Warriors. Securing four points, which could be vital. Of course, they will still have to succeed in the third trial if, should they fail here. That's a tie. The ties. Oh, one tie will do it. Ooh, a crit on the board. But right now, the odds are against Arctic because a tie will kill the cup. So it, they have to just keep getting hits. Oh, there it is. Unfortunately for the cock, it just ran out of steam. And the Starachosaurus finishes the job. But, while Arctic Warriors has failed this trial, they do get four points. So, a much better show in this time. Okie dokie. Representing Nirvan, 23, in this second trial, we got Super Eocarcaria. It'll be interesting to see how this guy fares here, because the Awaker Mode could be key. If they get a good hit with the Awaker Mode, they will one-shot one of the Dinos, regardless of how much health it has. But if they get hit, they'll be in a bit of a pickle, because the HP will be halved after the Awaker Mode. Right, we've seen this guy already. So yeah. Double-edged sword here for using a Super Dino for this trial, but it is Super Eocarcaria. Of course, the Vans already qualified, done enough to qualify for the last 16, but they'll want to get as many points as possible, because it could, it will matter going into that last 16. You get a better seed in. And that's a good start there, getting, a getting the first hit. Okay, that's one. Ooh, but the Gorgosaurus strikes back. It's a wall smash. This is going to do some damage. And smash. Ooh, hello. We got a death fire triggered. I forgot this do got death fire as well. Will we see it? The answer to that is not yet. Another tie. Eocarcaria is getting worn down. Oh, it's a crit. That's not good. Oh, he's killed it. Oh, well. <laughs> Unfortunately for Nirvan 23, they're coming away from this trial with no points. But like I said, they've already done, a, done enough to qualify. So, yeah. Not much to worry about there. Okay, representing Carnotaurus Man for this second trial, we got Super Amio Ramus. An interesting choice, to say the least. Don't know how he's going to fare in this trial. This could be tough. It will have type advantage over the Lillian Sternus, which is a saving grace, but yeah. Again, we'll skip because we're going to see this guy a lot. This guy, I don't know how this is going to go. don't know if this is going to go well for Carnadorus, man. But they did pass the first trial, so they don't really need to worry if they get nothing out of this. But like I said, you want to get as many points as possible, even if you have enough to qualify. Already, you want to get them points on the board. It'll give, it'll give you a, a better matchup in the last 16 round. Well, so far, all we're having is ties. Ugh. Come on, let someone have a hit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> this is, this is going to be repetitive, isn't it? Oh, damn it. Let someone get a hit. Oh, finally someone got a hit. <laughs> well, that was a bit petty, wasn't it? Right, that's once. Oh, that's a tie, but Carnotaurus, man, won't mind that. As the Lillian Sterners goes down. And that's two points secured. And they've done enough to qualify for the last 16. 
Right, up next we got Nodosaurus. I think this will probably be all she wrote for the Alley of Ravens, though. And yep, there it is. Down it goes. We don't get to see the Awaken mode. But it did do his job and it did kill the Linnean Sternus, which does mean that Carnotaurus Man will be leave walking away with this from this trial with two points. Right, and that is it. Well, that's it for this session. So, stay tuned for next time where we will go through our next nine combatants and see how they fear in the second trial. And until then, ta-ta!